hi guys welcome back to the channel thank you all for stopping by today i'm going to show you how i prepare this delicious sweet and sour red snapper fish Right, guys now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the ingredients today i'll be using two fresh red snapper i already prepped washed and cleaned it i'll be using some pineapple juice pineapple chunks some bell peppers onions i have garlic and ginger i'll be using some uh, soy sauce ketchup vinegar i have some brown sugar and for the seasoning some all-purpose complete and black pepper so let's go ahead and make a quick marinade for the fish using some fresh green seasoning. The link to that will be listed in the description box. Some oil, Old Bay, fish seasoning, and some black pepper. Mix that well to combine, and this is what we'll use to marinate our fish. Next, you wanna go ahead and coat the fish in the inner and outer parts, making sure that it's well marinated. Once we're done, you want to cover and allow to sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. So because we use the wet marinade, we want the fish as dry as possible so it can be nice and crispy when we're frying. So we will lightly coat it in some cornstarch. Then we will head over to my preheated pot, place them inside of the pot and allow to fry until it's nice and crispy and golden brown on both sides. Once the fish is fully cooked and it's nice and crispy, you wanna remove and set it aside. Now to the same pot, I did remove some of the oil even just a little bit and we'll go in with our aromatics. Mix well and allow to go for about 2-3 to three minutes. So at this point you want to add the rest of your ingredients. The pineapple juice, pineapple chunks, you want to add your soy sauce, ketchup, vinegar, your brown sugar and the seasoning. Mix well to combine and allow everything to come up to a simmer. Once the sauce comes up to a simmer, we will add some cornstarch to thicken it. We don't want no long water sauce or long water gravy. So the cornstarch will thicken it nicely. Once it has thickened, we will now add our fish back into the pot. You want to add them in and allow to go for about four minutes, two minutes per side. And that's how simple and easy it is to make sweet and sour fish. You can actually use any fish for this recipe. It doesn't have to be red snapper. You can cut it up into smaller pieces and you can serve this up on your Christmas table. When I tell you it was amazing, the sweet and sour paired really well with the fish and my family really enjoyed it. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it and leave a comment down below. I will leave all the ingredients down in the description box and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your support and as always, enjoy.